Welcome and thank you for joining this session. In this tutorial, you will become familiar with the steps required to create a material definition. The material library in the 3D Experience platform is intended to provide comprehensive coverage of both linear and nonlinear isotropic and anisotropic material behaviors. It can include the following categories, metals, plastics, rubbers, foams, composites, concrete, geomaterials, and many others. A few examples using different material definitions are illustrated here in terms of simulations of the rolling of a symmetric eye section, blast loading of a structure, crushing of a woven fabric composite beam, etc. To create a new material definition on the 3D Experience platform, you can either add content from the top bar or from the material definition app in the V plus R quadrant of the compass. Next, we will look at an example to create an elastic plastic material named steel. The curve here on the right rep schematically represents the typical response of an elastic plastic material. The material is defined in terms of a Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, and a tabular data of yield stress versus plastic strain. To create this material definition on the 3D Experience platform, from the top bar, select Add Content. In the New Content dialog box, enter the keyword Material and refine your search. Select core material as the type of content to create and give it a name. In terms of the 3D experience platform, a core material specifies the constitutive behavior of a material. Once you click OK, a new material definition is created and the platform switches to the material definition app. A core material can have a number of domains associated with it. To add a material domain, select the Add Domain tool from the Material Tools section of the action bar. A number of domains are available. The simulation domain, for example, contains information on the constitutive behavior whereas the rendering domain contains information on the visual characteristics of the material. For this tutorial, we will only define the simulation domain for the material steel. To define the linear elastic response of the material, in the material definition dialog box, select mechanical elasticity elastic and specify the Young's modulus and the Poisson's ratio. Next, to define the work hardening pro properties, select mechanical plasticity and plastic. Here you can specify a tabular data of the yield stress versus the plastic strain. For this particular material model, we will read in the tabular data from an Excel sheet. To do so, right click on the table and select Import. And you can then read in the data from the Excel worksheet. Click OK to complete the material definition. This brings us to the conclusion of our tutorial. Thank you for attending.